Yeah, she felt me. I wanted her to feel me. It was either fellatio or feel me. Now, one of the shows I'm aware of uh, on Esther. Yes, Miss LaWanda Page. LaWanda Page. You kind of knew about her history before you um, Who didn't? crossed paths. Who okay. didn't know Aunt Esther? Who didn't know Sanford and Son? You grew up on Sanford and Son. Mm -hmm. You know, so to get that gig with her, I was starstruck. I was starstruck. Uh, they actually came and picked me up right. from JR Crickets. Yeah, I went. Yeah, they had to pick the night her up. Of the show? They had to pick her up the day of the show. Okay. From uh, airport in Atlanta. The show was in Macon. Airport in Atlanta. And they came straight to Cascade, picked me up from there. I had to have my clothes already, you know, with me. And I jumped in the limousine with her and rolled off into the sunset. Right. Now, when and you was, met her, was it like a conversation off bat? Of course. This, okay. this, the, this the OG right here in right. your face. Right. Right here. So, of course, I spoke with her, and she had on all this jewelry. She had, like, diamonds on every hand. She had this one ring, this one big ruby in a gold setting. Mm -hmm. And it, was, it wasn't no lab ruby. It, mm -hmm. was, it was real ruby, you know, like opaque ruby. Mm -hmm. And this gold setting. I said, I want one of those. She said, you'll get it. You'll get it. You stick with it. You'll get it. You know. And uh, I think it was a sold out show. Me. I think Chocolate was on that show too. Uh, me, Chocolate, and Aunt Esther. What was going on in her career? Like she was just like on the twilight part of her career? Like just doing stand up? I, I, would, I would say, um, I would say you could say twilight. Because I'm thinking, like, and this is not a knock on you, but you were, like, what, three years in when you did that? No. Um, no. Okay. No. Um, I would have to pull that up. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just thinking, like, you know. No, I wasn't. How long had I been, had I done Def Comedy? I think I had done Def Comedy Jam. Okay, so you, you had some buzz with you. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. So you weren't just, I got you. But my thing is, so y'all ride to the show, you get there, who, who's the opener? I can't remember who opened, but mm -hmm. I know, um, I think if this is the same show, I think Chocolate came on before me, even though she, Introduced me to comedy. I think she came on before me. Okay. Then me. Then Aunt Esther. Aunt Esther headlined. Okay. And um, <laughs> um, uh, I had a great show. I had, you know, I think I got a standing or something like that. And then uh, Aunt Esther goes out, and uh, you know she's raunchy like like Red Fox. Yeah. She she X rated like Red. And uh, she, she pulled her, she takes off her panties. Okay. You know, she's shock value. She so it's already off, kind of pre-game. Right, this is what she does. Got gotcha. She takes off her panties on stage. She takes them off and she's like, I want to give these to somebody. Hmm, who am I going to give these to? <laughs> and she says, oh, I know, Doodoo Brown. Where's Doodoo Brown? I want Doodoo Brown to have these. Right, so people backstage like, Aunt Esther's calling you. Aunt Esther's you. She want to give you up, Aunt Esther. You know what I'm saying? So I go, you know, to the side of the stage. Okay. And I see her, and she said, there you go. Come here, Doodle Brown. I want to give you something. So I, like, I run out on stage, and I, like, slide across the stage like James Brown. Like something just came over me, man. I slid on my knees across stage. And I grabbed her around the waist. Mm -hmm. I grabbed her around the waist and she put the panties on my head and I planted my face in her crotch. And the crowd just went crazy. The crowd just, I could hear the, the roar. The crowd went crazy, right? And uh, I lift her dress and went up under her dress. Okay. And, and that's when the thunder we got, a, we got a term in comedy called okay. the thunder. That's when people are collectively laughing out loud, clapping, and stomping their feet okay. at the same time. 
You get a group of people doing that, it sounds like thunder. When I put my head under her dress, then came the thunder. Okay. And uh, afterwards, my mom uh, happened to, you know, was able to come to that show. Okay. She said, John, what are you, you can't be doing old people like that. What are you, she said, you had the old lady shaking, boy. Well, you can't be doing that. What? She said, you couldn't see because you had, you was up under her clothes, but the lady was trembling. She was saying, oh, goddamn. Oh, God damn. And I said, that's because I was trying to chew through her girdle. <laughs> I was trying, wow. literally, under Aunt Esther's dress, trying to chew through her girdle, bruh. And if you would have got through the girdle, what? I would have gave her some head, man. I would have performed fellatio on Aunt Esther in the front of Macon City. Cause I was, I hadn't gone there. I was like, here we are on stage. She done put her panties on my head. I'm under her dress. Like, go, go hard or go home, bruh. Right, Give her something she'll never forget. Do it now. But the panties off was just a joke. She had on like a industrial strength <laughs> girdle. <laughs> it was like, that shit was like, it was thick. Cause I tried to bite a hole through that motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, she could, I couldn't get her, I couldn't give her the fellatio. Right. But I sure tried, she knew what I was trying to do. Oh so man. So do you think she, <laughs> My mama was like, I said, hey. You think she actually felt something? She had to. I'm talking about I was trying. Okay. I attempted to bite a hole through her girdle. <laughs> Look at the camera, lady. <laughs> yeah, she felt me. I wanted her to feel me. It was either fellatio or feel me. She felt you. She felt me. She felt me. <laughs> she was, oh, God damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> Rest in peace, Alice McSwain and Miss LaWanda Page.